The soul of the tree is so important. We let the tree dictate what we do, following the grain, not fighting against it with every piece that we make. My name's Ollie Carter and I run a company called Adventurous Joinery and we're really excited to be part of the Maker and Son family and create some lovely products together. I take a lot of influence from different types of woodworking. The traditional English timber framing, which is the construction of buildings. We use a lot of the old techniques, but using modern tools to create that. And also from Japanese carpentry, they're the masters, and we take influence from what they do. Our workshop's based in the heart of the South Downs National Park. It's a really special place, we're in the woods, there's lots of creative energy around here. It's a lovely place to work and it's a family run business and it always has been. So I learned a lot of what I do from my dad. He's done furniture making and then forestry and sawmilling. So I learned how to process a tree into usable timber, dry it and then make furniture from it. And then over the kind of 20 years of my career, I've done all sorts of woodwork like site carpentry, site joinery, forestry work, and it's kind of all come together and got us to this point where we are now, where we're doing adventurous joinery, which is our, our thing. We're really excited to be working with Maker & Son. Our ethos is aligned really nicely. We pride ourselves in using sustainably sourced British timber, and I think that whole journey of knowing where a tree has come from and producing some furniture for it to sit alongside the British made sofas is going to work really well. We found an amazing tree to start this journey with Maker and Son. It was Britain's tallest ash tree. The grain on it is just spectacular. There's no mechanical fixings, they're all wedged and tenoned together it gives every piece its own individuality. So even though they're the same design, every piece will be different. 